Yeah, hello. Today I will show you how you can make little millions in the starting area, even if you have no money and just started the game. So first you need to make sure you are in a crowded server. This is going to be essential. So if you can still access the OBS servers, there are a lot of beginners in here. Uh, and like otherwise any quoted server will work so make sure you are in one and then if you got a bit of money right if you don't have any money you skip this step for now because in 10 minutes you can just buy the stuff anyway so you'll see anyway we go like to the marketplace thingy you go like escape then shop and then central market and then you type in crone c-r-o-n you buy the thing called seafood cornmeal it's a buff for like two hours just take it, you know, you think it's like expensive if you start it out, but like just buy it, you know. If you don't have the money, again, you just save up, right? Easy game. Like once you got uh, 300k, you just like buy this thing. And then there's another thing called uh, Spirit Stone of Life. You type in Spirit and then you scroll down. And then there's one called Life Spirit Stone. Buy the blue one. The green one, same price, but, but worse. So you go in there and you just like buy one, I guess. Here we go, buy, boom. Again, if you don't have the money, first buy the cornmeal, then save up a bit more, then buy this. It will take you 20 minutes, you'll be able to buy this. Oh yeah, and then of course, uh, there's a tool we're gonna need, a uh, life tools. And then look for butcher knife. And then there's one called magic butcher knife, but that's pretty expensive, right? We're like, nah, we're not about this. You can literally, you can take the, the, uh, the white one if you want. You can also buy it from the vendor, I'll show you in a second. Uh, or you buy the Logia one, I guess. I uh, don't know. Yeah, I'll show you where you can buy it by any of these uh, knives. Okay, anyway, uh, if you have no tools and like, I don't know if you want to blow 800k for like a tool, you go like uh, to the map and on the bottom right it says like find NPC and then you click like material, yeah, material. Click on it and then it like auto paths you in it. You can like follow the auto path. Look at this. But this is like kind of boring, so I'm just gonna press T and then it like automatically walks along it. Damn. I bet you are like a beginner anyway, you already know about this stuff. But here we go, you know, we are like going to the material guy and the material guy will have like tools. And we click on shop and we look for butcher knife. Uh, butcher, butcher, butcher knife. Guys, there's a butcher knife in here. Here we go, see? Butcher knives. And like you click on it and then you just buy a few. Here you go. Just, just this many. We need this many. I don't know. Probably not. Let's just go. Okay, now, now we come to the uh, big, big reveal, I suppose. So this is the starter area. Well, we are in Velia. If you haven't been there yet, so you should probably run there at least once. Like this is where you start, actually, you know. Um, oh, like this. See, ancient stone chamber. You can also like shift right click on it, then it auto paths you to it. How convenient is that? We're gonna take the shortcut though. So you can like uh, follow the arrow. So can you see the small arrow over there? Like it shows you like where you go. You can just walk there in a straight line. You should also sprint. Oh yeah, guys. did you know guys that you can like... Uh, that the meal we just bought... Oh, can expand. So it's my corn meal anyway, right? I'm gonna grab like... I only got one, so I only take one. That's fair, right? Never mind, this is it. Oh yeah, also when you're in, in your warehouse, always click inventory, otherwise it puts it into your storage. It's always so annoying. All uh, right, we take this homie. And then, oh yeah, we also bought the livestone. We take this, of course. And it already tells you on the top right, do you want to equip it? I'm like, yep, let's go. Now you got it. Okay, I think this is where we were, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, you can also like auto walk in a straight line if you want. Like if you press T, it usually follows the path you set, but if you like, you already know it's over there, right? So we just like point our guy, our girl, I guess, in here, then we right click the minimap and then we press T and then it automatically walks forward. Uh, control, then we have the mouse, uh, press I for the inventory, of course. We already got the lifestone equipped and we have the seafood thingy right here. So the good thing about the seafood meal is, if you right click it, you get more gathering and more more movement speed. So that's gonna be helpful for us right now. Uh, we also need to equip the butcher knife. I guess that's important for all this, as you're about to find out. What, what do you mean it cannot be used? Oh, I need to stand. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got it. 
guys, I'm a professional, okay? Anyway, so we got the two, we are like two hours now. Um, we'll be able to buy tons of these foods once uh, our 10 minutes are up or something. So that's gonna be fun, let's see, find out. So anyway, walk here. Okay, here we go, see, we're almost here. I'm gonna show you the map in a second. And then we have the, the spirit stone, as you can see. Um, that one will give us also plus two gathering. So how this thing works in BDO is you got like the character, my stats, and then you have like these ability things. And there's like gathering and like fit and the other stuff. For us, important is gathering right here. You know, this guy has like zero gathering skills. See, you see it? It's like zero percent. Uh, it's a girl. Look, I just took the default one and changed the hair color. And this nice. So anyway, the corn cornmeal food gives us plus two on this gathering and the stone. Um, you can activate it manually by you, or you just click this, and then it uh, always gives you the buff automatically. Uh, be wary though, the Spirit Stone use it, uh, loses durability uh, on every other use uh, when you use it, but it's quite durable, so it will like hold you for like many many hours. So it's it's a good value. So now you should have four gathering. I got like a guild with like plus two gathering, so. I'll automatically have more gathering, but you'll have four gathering. That means you can gather stuff much quicker. So anyway, um, this is probably the place you're familiar with. This is like, I think the second quest or something where you kill uh, wolves or something. And the cool thing is uh, when people kill wolves, you can just go up to them and then be like, you know what, I'm just gonna gather this, you know? How cool is this? And then you gather this and then you get like meat. And each of these meats is like of 6.5k to 7k silver. So you just go here and then just keep doing this. And that's how you save up your money, you know? You're like, thanks again. And then you keep doing this. It's a bit slow, right? You're like, oh man, I wish it were faster. That would be so cool, right? And yeah, these people are all helping you out, you know? They're like people, they're like, wow, I want to help this guy make tons of money. So they kill the bulls for you. Aren't they nice people? And the fun part about this is, uh, you just go to where all the players are. And they're just gonna keep wolves. And BDO uh, automatically increases the spawn rate of these wolves when there are more players in vicinity, uh, as you can see here. So all these, <laughs> look at this, these <laughs> wolves over here. So we can just stay in the same spot and like, just collect the meat, which is super. Whoa, it's already... Wow, I mean, we really needed this many, huh? Okay, guys, remember, buy this many, and then it's all good. I hope I didn't give this guy any money. Oh, yeah, I gave this one, one million, okay? So we can, like... We'll see how much money we get. <laughs> it's just how this works. Oh, yeah, by the way, you don't need any pets, so I'm just gonna check them all in. Who cares, right? We don't need any pets. So if you don't have any pets, don't worry, you can still do this and get tons of money. Uh, the fun part is you also level your character. If you look at the top left, it's like 5% uh, at level 7. And like once you're done with this, you're probably gonna be like level 12 or something. So yeah, this is like pretty slow ass. Look at this, man, we're almost there. So I would advise you to just like keep doing this for a while and, and um, oh look, <laughs> I leveled up. This is so stupid. So uh, every time you gather it will take up a bit of energy of course. Damn, this durability is slow. Yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit when I gather like, it's, I'll see you in five minutes I guess. Alright, sometimes you get like cool drops, like ancient spirit dust, you know, you just keep this, don't sell it, you know, it's used for like end game shit, it's quite valuable actually. Uh, then you get like blackstone, of course, uh, that's the big one, one of the big ones, and you get these shards. Uh, if you hover over it, you'll see market price. Uh, if you got like one of those spirit shards, you can pretty much just run back to the city and then start buying actual good gear. So yeah, we've done this for like five minutes. I'm kind of bored already. So let's just buy something now. So you're gonna run back to Vilia. I'm too lazy, but um, 
when you progress in the quest, you'll get like a thing where you can actually collect stuff from the central market, even if you aren't in a city. So I'm going to do just that. You'll have to run back though. So I'm just going to run back to cost. This is like noob guide. Uh, I'm, I intend to crash the meat market or something. I don't know. See you in the city. So when it starts lagging, you know you're in the city. And here we are now anyway. So we go back to the same storage guide. Uh, again, if you don't if you don't never if you don't know where the guys are, right, you go M and then at the bottom right you see like this fine NPC guy and they have like guys like storage or uh yeah storage or like the material when there's earlier found earlier. So anyway, we've got all this cool stuff now. Now we go to the storage manager, click storage. And then we click on warehouse and then we go to inventory. So here we got our inventory and this is our warehouse of all the cool stuff. So we got like 112 wolf meat. Okay. So I'm just gonna right click it and then maximum quantity. Okay. We got one weapon stone, one black sharp black crystal guy. Okay, cool. And then we go escape, shop, central market. Couldn't load. Ah, oh, come on, man. Okay. And then we go to sell and then we like sell the shit. So I got lots of wolf meat because I'm just doing this on all my olds. So that's just how this goes. And then you type in like 112, right? Here we go. Boom. Put this in. There you go. And then register. This is 700k. You know, usually this sells super quickly. So it might sell while we do this. And we also got a black stone thingy. Black, black stone. Yeah, I got a lot. I'm just going to sell one though, just to show you. See, this is 160k. Wow, good money. So, and then there's this one shard we got. There's this one shard. So this is all done in 10 minutes, you know. Where's this one shard? This one, right? Yeah, this one is a million. So if you got the sharp shard, then GG. You can buy everything you ever need. Yeah, here, this one sold. Yeah, the, the meat is gonna sell eventually. You know, just wait until you got the shard and you're good. Okay, now you want to buy the real tool, right? You type in Logia and then enter and then you can find the butcher tool, the Logia butcher tool. There, butcher knife. Buy. And then you see like, wait, I can't buy this though, homie. Like, this is stupid. You can also buy it from a vendor, of course. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you where it is. You like go to M again. And this time you click on the NPC guy again. And then you type in Logia. Enter. And then you go to like a girl called Camellia Logia and you click on it and then it auto parts you to it. So now we're gonna step up our game, you know. This is, now we are for real. This is like, this time for sure. So you can see I'm expertly shaving of time by walking on the inside, you know. Once you become a pro like me, you'll be able to do just that. Well, these are my farms, look at. Okay, okay, we go to Logia anyway. And Logia has like, Tools called Logia. Wow. Logia tools. Click on it. Like shop. Look for the butcher knife. It cost one million. Wow. Wow. Anyway, you buy this here. And you should probably buy a few of these, right? You should buy like, don't know, a lot. Two or three, right? Otherwise the durability is just gonna run low and you have to run back to repair it. Yeah, if you don't know where the next repair guy is, of course you press M, then you go find NPC and then you do like repair. Boom, click on it and it shows you the nearest one. There's probably one in the Western Guard camp too, so it's all good. Anyway, just for just, for, just what you do. Okay, we're doing auto path again. Okay, see you back in the farming farming spot. Alright, we're back at the farming spot. As you can see, all these players are still here. Wow, isn't this nice? Never gets out. So make sure you got like your new nice tool equipped. So what this cool tool can do is it gives you 30% more gathering items per average. It reduces the gathering time by quite a substantial amount, you know. It's gonna half it or something and you get like some mastery or whatever. So anyway, you do this and as you can see, two seconds, boom. And again, boom. And again, boom. 
So you just stand in this pile of corpses and you just keep pressing R. And now you make the real money, you know? So buy as many of these low gear tools as you can. I would say like five or something. I don't know, it should work out. And then you just keep doing this for a while. And like I guarantee you, do this for like half an hour and you'll be like a multi-millionaire. Now you get like 20 million out of half an hour or something. So uh, for the minimap, always look for where the players are. The players are like marked in white squares. And just go there, and that's usually where the corpses are too. And I'm just gonna level up here, why not? Look, this guy is just pulling four at once. What a madman. Can you see this? Can you see this? Ooh, thanks man. Appreciate it. <laughs> ah, this is too good. Ooh, thanks. This is awesome. You're so good at this game. So there's uh, one caveat to this, of course. Uh, if you gather stuff, it will use up energy. So at the beginning, you won't have too much energy. I think it's 50 or something. So this might be something to do after like uh, doing the first few main quests. They give you quite a bit of uh, experience points to get more uh, energy or something. I don't know. They give you like knowledge points or something. And then... Oh, we got a nice summer rain going on. Uh, but what you can do is, uh, when you start the game, you just take all your character slots and you just make dummy characters. You know, it doesn't matter which class, it doesn't matter which, you know, uh, which, you know, gender, I guess, I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter which class, you just do them and then uh, the characters that are offline, they'll get like an energy point each hour they are offline. So usually you get one every three minutes of playtime. But uh, when the character is offline, they only get like one energy point for, uh, for each hour they're offline. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is the professional tutorial. And then, of course, since it's that easy to set up this character, you know, this guy started at zero gathering, you know. Look where we are now. Here we are like at Apprentice 1. See, we already got like to the green thingy. And the green thingy means we get like more stuff. Awesome. So yeah, we're just gonna do this, the whole guy, uh, you know, they're just gonna, I'm gonna use up all my 100 energy and see what we got out of it. Come on, kill him, kill him, come on, man, come on, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't need any weapons, I'm just gonna unequip it, why not, see, we don't need any weapons. Oh look, we got Apprentice too. This can be you, you know, I'm not, not playing around. Okay, here we go. Look, gathering tool durability is too low. Oh no, what should I do now? So you press M and then you're like, should search up your homie and you're like, repair. It even says it. See, I knew one was, I knew there was one in Western Guard Camp. So you can just run there. How nice is that? So yeah, depending on the energy you got, uh, you buy obviously some more log here tools. I know they're like a million, but you know, you look, you already made the million back anyway. There's like a war going on here. Okay, this guy is like a stable keeper, they usually have some repair going on. You talk to this guy, you're like, repair me, and then this, and then this. Oh, I don't have enough money. So yeah, uh, <laughs> the good part is when you... Actually, let me find like some some guy to trade with. The good part is when you like, you know, gather stuff. Uh, you also got stuff called fairy powder, so you can just sell the fairy powder, and then you got like 150k already, and then you can just repair stuff with that. That's cool, right? All right, anyway, repair me, and then ooh, 25k. I'm not sure if I have the money for that. Let's go, and then you walk back to the thing. Okay, we're back. Uh, apparently there are lots of people down here now. Oh yeah, did you know you can also do the same thing at the Grey Fox spot? 
So, uh, you know, the very first quest you do is like, or well, not the first one, it's like one of the first, it's like ten, kill 10 grey foxes, see all these players? It's free real estate. So if no one is at the wolf spot below, you just do the foxes, I guess. And uh, let's take a look at the value of this. Uh, fox meat, uh, it's, it's kind of at the same price range, so it doesn't really matter what you do. And we got like a sharp crystal thingy. Boom, one million right here. So we can do the foxes too, I guess. There are tons, there are not much more players here, see this? So if you think, you know, uh, there, are, there won't always be five players in like the fox, uh, in the wolf spot, you can just... There will always be people in the fox spot. Okay, well, my durability ran out, so... Basically, you buy a few of these, right? Otherwise, you have to keep running back to, like, this camp, which is, like, 100 meters away. But it's whatever, right? So I used up, like, 50 energy, right? And let's see what we got. I got, like, 180 wolf meat, 180 fox meat. Let's just sell this stuff, you know? I want to see how much money I make. Poor, indeed. So we go back to Velia City anyway, and then see what we got. So the good part about this whole procedure is you can just play the game after you've done it initially, use up all your energy, like 50 energy you're probably gonna have, and then you go back here, and then you do it again. So uh, the first few quests are gonna be in the vicinity, here. you're gonna have like an imp kill quest right here, and like some run around Velia quests and then other stuff. So every time you see the energy bar on the top left, you know, or not the bar, it's like a counter, right? Uh, you see it like max out, you just remember, oh dude, I can like just go to the wolf area and just get free meat and free money. So yeah, let's tell you about what we actually got, right? So this is Logia Mahomi. Logia be like, Would yeah, like take, uh, give me money. It's like what Logia does. Uh, yeah, you got like stuff here. Um, you can like just sell the fairy powder, of course. Let's see how much money we actually made, right? So we sold the fairy powder earlier and then we sell fairy powder again. That's just 200k. How boring is that? Then we got like this stone, this stone, these meats, this stone. Uh, we need to go for to the marketplace for that, of course. Alright, this is the storage keeper. We just throw the stuff in here now. We got like one of these crystals, two of these, three of these fragment thingies. They're pretty cheap though. 180. Let's make it easy. 180 of the fox meat. Okay, then we go escape, shop, central market, sell. And then we sell one of these guys. See, this is like, uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you the prices after taxes, of course. So we sell this guy, uh, we get like 1.4 million out of this. Then we have two of these bad boys. Yeah, another whatever, it's 3 million, right? 3 million is good. Epic good price right here. And then we got the meat, of course, it's gonna be the bulk. That's fox meat. Let's see, we can just sell it to this guy, how cool is that? See, this is like another million right here. And sell this. That's four million. And this is like, uh, let's see, another four. Oh yeah, 5.5 .5 million or something, right? It works out. So we worked like 10 minutes just pressing R the whole time. And we had like the worst tools in existence. And then, oh, we also got the meat from earlier. See this wolf meat? Boom, another 500k. So we made like, don't know, 6.5. We just let it like 10 minutes of pressing R at that spot. So now imagine you had like some super good tools going on and you just expand your empire. Stuff like this. So having 5 million as a beginner player is actually quite nice. So every time you see your energy count go up on the top left, you just like, you know, just spend it over there. And remember, fill up all your character slots because each of these characters is gonna generate energy passively. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and have fun getting easy money in this game. See you around.